It's 6.54. Let's go straight to the stories we're following as you head out the door. This morning we begin with Way 31's Rodney Ross. Pro-choice activists are gearing up all across the country to protest the new abortion law. And this weekend, there will be protests here in the Tennessee Valley. The March for Reproductive Freedom will be at the Madison County Courthouse on Sunday at 4 p.m. Another march will be in the shows also on Sunday at the post office on Seminary Street. There will also be protests in Montgomery and Birmingham. Those protesting the new law fear the law is setting women back. Casey? Teenager Kate Vogus will have an arraignment hearing today at the Lauderdale County Courthouse. About a year ago, she was behind the wheel of a car accident that ended up killing three high school students and seriously injuring one other student. She now faces three counts of manslaughter and one count of assault. She will be tried as a juvenile offender. Greg. The police chief in Faultville resigned during an ongoing FBI investigation. Way 31 found out money played a role in Chris Free's resignation. His lawyer would not say if the investigation was connected to the resignation or if there might be other issues involved. Major changes are coming to the Huntsville public transit system. Starting July 1st, the city will add a Saturday bus service from 7 in the morning until 7 in the evening. Weekday service will also be extended to 9 o'clock in the evenings. Routes are also expected to be restructured, meaning buses will start coming to areas with more riders. President Trump says he hopes the U.S. is not on a path to war with Iran. Pakistan's foreign ministry has urged the U.S. and Iran to resolve their issues through talks to avoid conflict. Sky News has reported the U.K. has also raised the threat level for British personnel in Iraq. That's because of a heightened risk from Iran. The president also taking to Twitter this morning to discuss immigration, coming on the heels of his proposed overhaul to the immigration system yesterday. Today, the president says the, quote, removal forces are being built up. This comes after CNN reports that hundreds of TSA agents will be sent to the border to help with migrant flow.